I don't think Sam Altman wants to talk to me. I don't know. He seems to go on a lot of podcasts. Maybe he does. I don't know what it is. I'd love to speak to him, but I don't, I don't think he wants to... I don't think he wants me to uh, interview him. I have an open challenge. Maybe money is not the incentive, but whatever attracts people like that, whoever can convince you that it's possible to control and make safe superintelligence gets the prize, they come on your show and prove their case. Anyone, if no one claims the prize or even accepts the challenge after a few years, maybe we don't have anyone with solutions. We have companies valued, again, at billions and billions of dollars working on safe superintelligence. We haven't seen their output yet. Mm. Yeah, I'd like to speak to Ilya as well, because I know he's, he's working on safe superintelligence. So, like Notice a pattern, too. If you look at history of AI safety organizations or departments within companies, they usually start well, very ambitious, and then they fail and disappear. So OpenAI had superintelligence alignment team. The day they announced it, I think they said they're going to solve it in four years. Like half a year later, they canceled the team. And there is dozens of similar examples. A perfect safety for superintelligence, perpetual safety as it keeps improving, modifying, interacting with people. You're never going to get there. It's impossible. There is a big difference between difficult problems in computer science and P-complete problems and impossible problems. And I think control, indefinite control of superintelligence is such a problem. So what's the point trying then if it's impossible? Well, I'm trying to prove that it is specifically that. Once we establish something is impossible, fewer people will waste their time claiming they can do it and find uh, looking for money. So many people go and give me a billion dollars in two years and I'll solve it for you. Well, I don't think you will. But people aren't going to stop striving towards it. So if there's no attempts to make it safe and there's more people increasingly striving towards it, then it's inevitable. But it changes what we do. If we know that it's impossible to make it right, to make it safe, then this direct path of just build it as soon as you can becomes suicide mission. Hopefully fewer people will pursue that. 